Yo, what's everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool rotating freeze frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. So kind of go frame by frame. So you kind of this really cool um, rotating freeze frame effect. You have all three of them is rotating right here. Then they'll line up and then they'll like pan back in to each other right here. And then you kind of go a couple five, like five frames and then you transitioned into um, your second clip. So let's head over to the example um, right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the second clip um, right here. Go to the beginning of the second clip. I'm going to go ahead head over here to hold and create a freeze frame. Now what you're just going to do is you're going to find the freeze frame right here. You're just going to cut it right here. You're basically just splitting the freeze frame and the normal clip right here. What you're going to do next is put the freeze frame on top of the first clip right here and set the duration to about 1 minute, uh, 1, 1. 1, 1. 1. 1.01 seconds right here. So 1.01 seconds in essence is 25 frames long. So let's make sure we have just the freeze frame selected right here. As you can see, here's the freeze frame. And then here is the normal clip right here. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're just going to head over to the second clip right here. Go to the effects panel right here and head over to mask. And we're just going to apply a draw mask onto the freeze frame right here. So let's just go ahead and just cut out the freeze frame right here. It doesn't have to be good, or at least just for the tutorial. Of course, if this is like a serious edit or like a client edit or something like that, obviously you're gonna wanna put a lot more time into this right here. But just for the sake of the tutorial right here, I'll just kind of make a really, you know, rough outline um, of this draw mask right here. But you mean you get pretty much the basic picture of how to create it. All you're just doing is you're just cutting out the subject um, right here. So let's go ahead and just for the sake of the tutorial right here, that looks pretty good just for the, you know, the basics of the tutorial right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the beginning of the freeze frame right here and you're going to change the rotation to 360 right here and you're going to change the scale to 0 right here and then actually before you even do that uh, you could do that too but what I like to do first is I like to break this up so I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right here uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. What we're going to do right here is head to the beginning right here, change rotation to 360, and change the scale to 0 right here. Keyframe the rotation, keyframe the scale, go 10 frames in, and then change rotation to 0 and then change the scale to 125, or probably most cases, it would be um, to 100. So let's go ahead and kind of play it right here and see if we got the look that we wanted right here. So let's go ahead and play the video right here. And as you can see right here, there you go. You got the really cool um, rotation effect right here. So what we're gonna do next is we're just going to um, create two copies right here and so we'll just go ahead and create two copies right here go ahead and rename this copy one um, and I'll rename this one you guessed it copy two and then I'll go over here um, rename it to original right there what we're gonna do is we're going to go to We'll just go right here so it'll be easier to see. We're going to go to copy um, one right here. And we're going to type in negative 200 right here. And then we're going to go to copy two right here. And we're just going to type in um, negative 400 right here. We're going to start 10 frames in. We're going to key for in the position. Go 10 frames um, more in right here. Key for in the position to zero right here. Go to the second one right here, keyframe the position right here, um, and then we're going to do, we're going to change the position to zero um, right there. And that's pretty much, honestly, that's pretty much the entire effect 
um, right there. So we'll go ahead and just play the video right here and we'll see how close we got it to the original right here. So rotate, pan, and there you go. You have officially um, completely created um, the effect um, right there. And of course you could add some motion blur if you want just to help make the effect look a little bit more um, realistic right there. So go ahead and just delete it right here and I'll go ahead and head over here again. Again you could add some motion blur to make it a little bit more realistic. So you can see right here these are just three freeze frames, um, one set 1.01 1 .01 seconds um, right here. So the top clip, all these clips you can see right here, watch the rotation and the scale. So it's 360 zero for the first 10 frames you're just scaling it, the rotation to zero and the scale back to 125 as you can see right here then these middle clips right here negative 200 keyframe to zero and then this one is at negative um, 400 right here and it's being keyframe to zero right here and then you just have five frames let's see right here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then one um, two three a four and then five right here and there you go that's how you create this really really cool rotating freeze frame effect right here it's definitely a really cool effect and I really 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 encourage you um, to use this effect I definitely really like it anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you knew this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you do these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 150 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.